hey guys so in today's video i will be doing the full tutorial on this look you can also check out the reel on my instagram page as well as on tiktok I got plenty of yeah, ambition, you should never try to sleep on me. Cause I won't stop and tell him secure in the victory. Wake up in the morning with that positive so, yes, energy. I'm going ahead for the Mel B look. Yes, there we go. Spice buns. Space buns. With the half up, half down kind of look. What we're using today is T Giant's white tooth comb as well as their rose water curl defining gel. So yeah, I'll show you guys how it looks later on. I pre-parted my hair because I'm not the best at parting my hair on camera. And that's my spray bottle that we'll use during the course of this style. What's in my spray bottle? It's basically rosemary tea. Just so you know guys. So, I'm sectioning my my hair is in two sections, but you know many sections as we go along. So I am applying the rosemary tea to my hair, ensuring that it is coated throughout. So sometimes it ends up dripping wet, but you know. Now I'm applying the gel to it, breaking it through, ensuring that it gets through all those strands. So rake prior method, rake prior method, and you just continue until you get your gel. If you realize that they're clumping, there is too much clump, you want to then go through each clump and shingle them out, which you'll see later on. So shingle, here I am shingling it. So I'm finding the clumps and shingle. I chose to switch my regular water to rosemary tea instead, because I will, basically I'm doing a, a project experiment on my hair yeah so i want to see if this works so instead of just the flat water which nothing is wrong with water don't get me wrong nothing is wrong with water but i just wanted to see if it would work so i'm using rosemary tea instead of water when i'm moisturizing my hair or for styles etc so yeah but I already took my picture before, so I can't wait to show you guys the after look, which is at the end of February, because I started this at the beginning of February. Yeah. So I, this section now is way smaller than the first section. I wanted to go with really small sections, but I, it was after I applied the gel, I realized it was way too much. The section was too big, but yeah, whatever, let's move on. We make mistakes. Here is a close up of what's going on because I don't think the video was doing much justice. So I said I had to let you guys see a closer vision of what's going on. So you see, look at those curls. Those curls are just oh, amazing. But yeah. <laughs> so I'm here shingling and twirling, separating the clumps. There we go. Shingle, twirl shingle twirl shingle twirl it's that easy there we go look at look at look 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 you guys yeah i love this close-up this close-up is doing my video justice yeah mm -hmm. so i don't know if you guys want to you can always research do your research on it and you know if you if you so happen that you you get to go on it let me know let me know if you join the crew because i want to know what it and show you before and after pictures rosemary tea is a thing and i'm going for it the tang with my white tooth comb i know i didn't show you that during the course of the video but hey here we go the tanging and this is the gel now guys look at that that's really thick look at that you had to even shake it and it was it's like eco in a jar this, this product should be in a jar not the pump the pump i don't think the pump was good enough for the product because it was really thick which means i wasn't using a lot and i'm i am generally heavy-handed but based on the thickness of this gel i wasn't gonna run that risk sorry guys i didn't want my hair weighing down so i went light which i think i did a pretty good job that when my hair was light wasn't heavy bouncy 
there wasn't any cast of course you generally have to you apply the oil after it's dry to you know the crunch well not the crunch but there wasn't any flakes basically for me there weren't any flakes so I just it was basically applying the, the oil to ensure that the hair is flawless let me say that because I'm not the best with wording and voiceovers voiceovers for me are generally short very short because my voiceovers are generally from my reels and I don't generally do a, a, a whole YouTube video voiceover I'm sorry guys I hope you guys are liking this video I hope you guys are commenting support me because I'm not the best at this I generally talk in my videos oh yeah so I'm basically finishing this side and I will finish the next side off of camera which you will see shortly look at me go yeah look at my bounce I'm just like yeah I'm almost finished I'm almost finished just a few more well a few more hours yeah <laughs> joking this style did not take me an hour because I, I think it did exact maybe one hour and then because well there you go look at them curls guys look at them curls curls right out there we go yeah so now I'm going to just go ahead with the space buns and here I am applying the gel to the parameter of my hair instead of using edge control because like I said it's a one product hairstyle right right yeah so I'm going to use the comb my, my fine tooth comb to just go over that the parameters ensure that it's slick so when you know when your bun looks it's not poofy poofy it's nice and slick up to the scrunchy elastic whatever it is that you're using which i went ahead and used those little black elastic bands so here yeah i think i wrapped it either twice three times or four but yeah you can count it i think one two three if i'm not wrong i, I just counted that a while ago yeah so here i am i'm twirling it and then I just wrap around into a nice little bun. Guys, saddest story ever. My battery died. So this is the finished look to wear. I love it. I am loving the look. Look at, don't we look too black alike? Didn't I slay this look, guys? Let me know in the comments if I slayed the look. Yeah. Until next time, guys. Bye.